In this video, I will show you how to install and configure Asterix. Asterix is an open source software that means you can download and use it for free. In order to download Asterix, you have to go to the Asterix website, and that is at www.asterix.org, and then click on the downloads link. As you can see, there are two versions available. One is version 1.4, which is a stable one, and the other is version 1.6, which is unstable. We will go with a stable one. There are three more packages for Asterisk. That is Zaptel and Libpre, which are used to make Asterisk communicate with telco hardware and add-ons, which include various add-ons for Asterisk. But for now, we'll download only the Asterisk software. In order to build Asterisk, you have to unpack the archives that you have downloaded and change the directory to the newly unpackaged sources. If you are familiar with building software under Linux, building Asterix will not be a problem for you. But if you are not, then you have to run dot forward slash configure script to pair sources for compiling. After the configure script, you, you have finished, you have to type make menu config to run the pre-compile options check. As you can see, you can set and unset a huge number of options here, but for now, let's just leave everything by default. And as a default configuration, we will be suitable for almost everyone. So let's exit the configuration screen. We're just gonna press X here. So Asterix is ready to build. In order to do it, you have to run the make command. It's going to take some time to compile. After the sources are compiled, they're going to run make install to install Asterisk to your system. In order to install the sample configuration files that are used by Asterix, in order to do this, you have to run make samples. So that's it. Congratulations, you've done the first step. Asterix is compiled. 